The UX90 and UX180 cameras have the capability to record in variable frame rates. Now they can record different base frame rates such as 23.98 or 29.97 or even 59.94 frames per second. But they also have the capability of doing truly variable frame rates which lets you do slow motion and fast motion effects right in the middle of your project. In this video we're going to explore those frame rates and teach you how to set it up and get the camera to be able to execute those frame rates. The first thing you do, you have to choose a recording mode that's compatible with variable frame rates. Cannot be ultra high definition, cannot be AVC HD. It must be an MOV or MP4 format. So we go into the system mode, rec mode, you have to choose MOV or MP4, your choice, doesn't really matter. And then second, we have to go into the rec format and we have to choose an FHD setting at 50 megabits, either 23.98, 25, or 29.97 frames per second. This is a limitation, but this is the only way it's gonna work. It has to be 50 megabits, and it has to be either 23.98, 25, or 29.97 frames per second. You may not have 25 frames per second on your camera if you don't have a European camera or if you've set your camera into 59.94, but, but that's the choices. You cannot use 59.94 or 50 frames per second. Then we have to turn on the variable frame rate function. So you go into the record setup menu and you'll see VFR mode. We can turn that on here or you can actually go into the user switch menu and assign VFR to one of your user buttons. And that way, it's an easy way to be able to turn on or turn off VFR at the press of a button instead of having to come back into the menu. Once you've enabled variable frame rate, then you're able to set what frame rate you want. Now, for the purposes of this discussion, we have to separate out that there's your project frame rate. That's what we said earlier in the rec format. I'm gonna, for example, we use 23.98. That's our project frame rate. Now we're gonna set what frame rate the camera itself is running at. We go into the frame rate menu item and you can choose from as slow as two to as fast as 60. From two frames per second, which would be extreme fast motion, extremely fast, 12 to one fast motion. Anything that you shoot, if, if it took 12 seconds to shoot it, when you go to playback, it will all fly by in just one second. Or the bigger the number you use, the slower the motion will play back. If you go all the way up to 60, now we're looking at not only slow motion, but two and a half to one slow motion. And there's a number of frame rates in between. You have around nine to 10 different frame rates that you can choose from in each mode. Now, the UX180 has an additional way of getting a variable frame rate. It's not related to the variable frame rate function. It's actually a separate function. It's called super slow record. So you can turn variable frame rate off even and still use this. Super slow record, you enable it just like you enable variable frame rates. We go into the menu or we assign it to a user button. When you press super slow record, if you're in a recording mode that allowed variable frame rates, because it, it works in the same modes, then when you press super slow record, it will go at 120 frames per second. Extreme slow motion, twice as slow as the 60 frames per second that we had. So if your project frame rate is 23.98, and you shoot some footage in the super slow at 120 frames per second, that will be five to one slow motion. If your project was set at 29.97 frames per second, you shoot the super slow at 120 frames per second, that'll be four to one slow motion. If you're using the European camera or, or in 50 Hertz mode, then your project rate is 25 frames per second and the super slow will be 100 frames per second for four to one slow motion. So that's where you get the ultimate slow motion as far as motion goes. But I do want to point out there is a drawback to it, and that is that in order to get that fast scanning rate, it has to drop resolution. So your footage is going to be notably softer in super slow recording than it is in normal variable frame rates. The footage will be exactly the same quality in regular and variable frame rates, but when you go to super slow, it will noticeably drop in resolution. Another thing to be aware of is audio recording. Audio is not recorded when you're recording variable frame rates, if you're off speed. It just, I mean, how would the audio play back if you record it? You know, it'd be, oh, 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 you know, what good is that? That's not gonna help anybody. So they just disable the audio recording entirely when you're doing off speed footage. What I mean by off speed is when your project frame rate does not match your, your variable frame rate. When they do match, then you will get audio. 
So your case is where audio is available. If your project is 23.98 and your variable frame rate is 24, it's close enough, then they will record audio. Or if your project is 25 frames per second and your variable frame rate is 25, it will record audio. Same with 29.97. If your variable frame rate is 30, it will record audio. In any other scenario, there will, there will be no audio recorded when you have variable frame rates on. So just be aware of that. The camera will warn you of this. It will give you a flashing message the first time you enable variable frame rates. No audio is going to be recorded. And the actual audio level meters are just going to go flat. And that there will actually be a little icon. It says A.Rec with a slash through it. So you're not recording audio. So that will help you have more confidence that you'll never be taken by surprise. You'll never think, oh, I thought I was recording audio, but I'm not. You know, it, it tells you in many ways audio is not to be recorded when you're doing off-speed footage. And the last thing to be aware of is that if variable frame rates, when you enable variable frame rates or super slow recording on a UX180, that will disable a number of other features. There's only so much that can go around. So if you choose variable frame rates, that means that you will, for the duration of when you have variable frame rates on, then you will not be able to do pre-record for example, or you won't be able to do dual codec recording. There are a number of things that get disabled. So if there's a function you're trying to use, you want to use and it won't let you, it's probably because you still have variable frame rate on. You're going to have to disable that before you can go and use those other functions. I hope that's helped clear up this whole mystery of variable frame rates and has enabled you to be able to use them now in your own projects. I hope we've gotten past any you know, potential roadblocks that may have been there. Maybe you didn't understand. You tried to use variable frame rates, but you couldn't figure out how to actually make it work. And now that you know what recording formats it needs to be in and whatever, hopefully now you're empowered to go ahead and use variable frame rates in your own projects. Stay tuned to this channel and check out the rest of the video so you can learn even more about the UX cameras. Thanks for watching. Panasonic.